Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 CPT coding guidelines for surgery digestive system part 5. In the current session, we will be focusing CPTs in the range 43235 to 43259. As we have discussed earlier, esophagus is divided into incision, excision, endoscopy, laparoscopy, repair, manipulation and other procedures. In the current session, we will be focusing on Endoscopy subtopic esophago gastro duodenoscopy EGD. Now, in the esophago gastro duodenoscopy, the CPTs are in the range 43235 to 43259. And there are two new codes that have been added. They are 43290 and 43291 that we will discuss further. And unlike esophagoscopy, esophago-gastroduodenoscopy is only flexible and transoral. The approach is flexible and transoral. Rigid and other routes are not available for EGD. Now coming to the CPTs of esophago-gastroduodenoscopy. For the examination of esophagus from the cricopharyngeal muscle, that is upper esophageal splinter, and to include the gastroesophageal junction, including the examination of proximal region of the stomach via retrofraction, retrofraction when performed, you need to refer these following CPTs 43197 to 43232 that we have discussed in the earlier session. And use 43233, 43235, 2259, 43266 and 43270 for examination of a surgically altered stomach when the geogenum is examined distal to the anastrosmosis. For example, in case of gastric bypass, gastroenterostomy, etc. And to report the esophago gastroscopy, where the duodenum is deliberately not examined. Example, judged clinically not pertinent or because of the clinical situation precludes the examination. For example, significant gastric retention precludes, that is it precloses the examination. If duodenum is not deliberately examined and if a repeat examination is planned, the physician is performing esophago gastroscopy. Usually duodenum should be examined. But if duodenum is deliberately not examined and if a repeat examination is planned, you need to append 53 modifier. 53 modifier must be appended if a repeat examination is planned. If the repeat examination is not planned, you need to append 52 modifier to indicate reduced services. This is an important point. Now coming to the first CPT 43235. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral. Diagnostic including the collection of specimen by brushing or washing when performed. The next CPT is 43236. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the directed submucosal injection any substance. The next CPT is 43237. It deals with esophago esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the endoscopic ultrasound examination limited to esophagus stomach or duodenum and adjacent structures an important point is do not report 43237 more than once per session because it is an endoscopic ultrasound examination it must be reported only once per session the next CPT is 43238 it deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with trans endoscopic ultrasound guided intramural or transmural fine needle aspiration or biopsy. 
it includes the endoscopic ultrasound examination limited to esophagus stomach or duodenum and adjacent structures this must be also reported only once per session the next exhibit is 43239. It deals with esophago gastro duodenoscopy flexible transoral with biopsy single or multiple. And do not report 43239 in conjunction with 43254 for the same lesion. The next exhibit is 43240. It deals with esophago gastro duodenoscopy flexible transoral with the transmural drainage of pseudocyst. It includes the placement of transmural drainage catheter or stunt when performed and endoscopic ultrasound when performed. And this is also do not report 43240 more than once per session. The next exhibit is 43241. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the insertion of intraluminal tube or catheter. And for naso or orogastric tube placement requiring physicians or other qualified healthcare professional skill and fluoroscopic guidance, you need to use 43752. The next CPT is 43242. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the trans endoscopic ultrasound guided intramural or transmural fine needle aspiration or biopsy. And it includes the endoscopic ultrasound examination of the esophagus, stomach and either the duodenum or a surgically altered stomach where the jejunum is examined distal to the anastrosmosis. And do not report 43242 more than once per session. The next CPT is 43243. It deals with esophago gastro duodenoscopy flexible transoral with injection sclerosis of esophageal or gastric veins. The next is 43244. It deals with esophago gastro duodenoscopy flexible transoral with the band ligation of esophageal gastric veins. The next is 43245. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the dilation of gastric or duodenal stricture by balloon or bonge. And if fluoroscopic guidance is performed, use 74360. The next CPT is 43246. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the directed placement of percutaneous gastrostomy tube. And for percutaneous insertion of gastrostomy tube under fluoroscopic guidance, use 49440. And for percutaneous replacement of gastrostomy tube without imaging or endoscopy, use 43762 and 43763. The next CBT is 43247. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the removal of foreign body. And if fluoroscopic guidance is performed, use 7600 along with 43247. The next is a new code and out of numerical sequence code 43290. This is a new code and it is indicated by this circle 43290. 43290 deals with esophago gastro duodenoscopy flexible transoral with the deployment of intragastric bariatric balloon and do not report 43290 in conjunction with 43197 43198 43235 43241 and 43247 next is also a new code 43291 it deals with Esophago gastroduodenoscopy, flexible transoral with the removal of intragastric bariatric balloon. Previously it is deployment, now it is removal. And do not report 43291 in conjunction with 43197, 198, 235 and 247. The next CPT is 43248. It deals with Esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible 
transorient with the insertion of guide wire followed by passage of dilator through esophagus over guide wire and if fluoroscopic guidance is performed use 43360 the next is 43249 it deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transorient with the trans endoscopic balloon dilation of esophagus and the dilation must be less than 30 mm diameter The next is 43233. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the dilation of esophagus with balloon 30 mm diameter or larger and it includes the fluoroscopic guidance when performed. The next is 43250. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the removal of tumor polyp or lesions by hot biopsy forceps. The next is 43251. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with removal of tumor, polyp or other lesion by snare technique. The next is 43252. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with optic endomicroscopy and here you need to report the supply of contrast agent separately. The next CPT is 43253. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with transendoscopic ultrasound guided transmural injection of diagnostic or therapeutic substance. For example, it can be anesthetic agent or neurolytic agent or fiducial maker marker. It includes the endoscopic ultrasound examination of the esophagus, stomach, and either the duodenum or a surgically altered stomach where the jejunum is examined distal to anastomosis and this one also 43253 must not be reported more than once per session the next cbt is 43254 it deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with endoscopic mucosal dissection the next is 43255 It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with control of bleeding any method. The next is 43266. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the placement of endoscopic stent. It includes the pre and post dilation and guide wire passage when performed. And if fluoroscopic guidance is performed use 74360. The next is 43257. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the delivery of thermal energy to the muscle of lower esophageal splinter and or gastric cardia for treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD. The next is 43270. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the ablation of tumor polyp or other lesion including pre and post dilation and guide wire passage when performed. The next CPT is 43259. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with endoscopic ultrasound examination including the esophagus stomach and either the duodenum or a surgically altered stomach where the jejunum is examined distal to the anastomosis and do not report 43259 more than once per session the next is 43210 it deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with esophago gastric fundoplasty partial or complete include the duodenoscopy when performed now let us see an example a patient is admitted for a simple primary examination of gastrointestinal system to rule out the gi cancer an egd is performed egd is nothing but esophago gastroduodenoscopy that includes the esophagus stomach and portions of the small intestine During the examination, a stricture of the esophagus is identified and subsequently dilated via balloon dilation. Stricture was identified and subsequently dilated via balloon dilation. 
and the dilation is 20 mm. What CPT are to be reported for these services? Here EGD is performed along with transendoscopic balloon dilation of less than 30 mm diameter. So the correct CPT is 43249. It deals with esophago gastroduodenoscopy flexible transoral with the transendoscopic balloon dilation of esophagus that is less than 30 mm diameter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.